If you don't believe in extraterrestrials, there's something wrong with you. Let's jump in so I can prove you wrong. What's up guys and gals and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name. And they are here. Alien abduction horror is the game. That was a long one, but here we are with a new game demo, a very promising game demo. I don't know what it's about. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with aliens, but we're just going to hit new game, ride it out. We're just going to let it go, like Frozen. Unexplained phenomena occur at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speeds over the cornfields. The lights moved in random directions and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bite him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Ugh! Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Graveswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Great! Just great. I think I read that right. Let's just hit start. Low waiting. Oh. Great sound effects. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Task. Talk to the farmer, Peter Sherman. Peter Sherman. Oh, <laughs> look at this game, bro. A little bit of motion blur, but whatever. The mouse sensitivity is great. We are Channel One News. The best news sauce in Travis Town, Virginia. I just made that up. Sherman's house. Oh, yeah. Take a picture of that, baby. This is great material for the news report. Maybe I should have zoomed in. Oh, well. Uh, that's about as good as it gets, okay? Got some orbs in the sky. Look at this game! Oh my, look at this game, bro. This is incredible. Just this shot right here. Incredible. Okay, we're gonna take our time. Why is, why is there always cornfields involved in alien games? I don't understand it. Oh, God. Oh, man, I'm jumpy. This reminds me of that movie Signs. But but the house was... Oh, let's check the house out. This is more of like a shack. Eh, no, it's a house. Yeah, it is kind of like Signs. I actually watched Signs like a month ago. It's a very good movie. Well, I watched it when it first came out when I was younger. But uh, I rewatched it here recently, and it's still as good as I remember. Great movie. Farmer's note: Miss Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave you, or we'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Okay. Sweet. P.S. Be careful. All right, we'll do, man. We'll do. Inspect the house. Okay. We got to say nice. These are the phones I remember. These are the phones I grew up with, man, right here. The old wire. Wait a minute. Making a weird sound. I remember the intercom button and everything, man. Crazy. I grew up in the 90s. So, yeah. Oh, nice family in the cornfields. Looking good. We traveled a lot. 
Awesome. In the photo, members of Sherman's family. In the photo, members of Sherman's family. Excellent. This is excellent so far, man. Just the atmosphere. This is great. Okay. Let's see here. They are here. Mystery sky object. Seen here. In Orono? Or Orano. Orano. Down to Earth approaches to alien visitors. Okay. Yeah, that's nothing odd here. Members of Sherman's family. <laughs> okay, man. See, now wait a minute. You see this bookshelf right here? This bookshelf looks very familiar. Down in the comments section. Where have you seen this bookshelf? I'm not going to tell you. Because I know already. The only reason I know is because of that book right there. See here. All right. Members of Sherman's family. <laughs> cool, man. And this is just a demo, by the way. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that. I was just reminding you. Oh my. Not good. Not good at all. Is that the moonlight hitting the bed, or is that bed a black light bed? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh. Ah! Yeah. Cool. Something's going to appear there. I'm not stupid. All right. Cue the music. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I hear strange, a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed. And the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. I'd say you are correct, sir. Alright, walkie-talkie. Let's see, apparently it belongs to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. I'm waiting for the fart. Aliens, they fart too. Strange. Very strange. Man, what I hate, I already hate about this game, is that I know I'm going to look in a direction and there's going to be a fucking alien right there in my face. It's building tension. It's, it's, so far it's doing a great job of building tension. Grab this blanket, maybe? Can I jump? No, can't jump. Okay, maybe there's some more stuff we have to explore in here. Don't fuck with me, okay? Don't fuck with me. We're just here checking out a scene. Bunch of conspiracy theorists. That's all it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe these aren't conspiracy... Ooh, man, look at that view, dude. Look at that, dude. The scale of this game is perfect. Anyway. Okay, I've seen that a million times. Whatever. Fake. Eh, fake. Definitely fake. That alien looks like it smoked some ganja. And then this. Whatever, dog. Look look who it look who it is. Alright, see the center picture? Check this out. Simptron! I found your cousin. Yeah, dog, look. Check him out, look. Right no, right there in the center. No, look up. Yeah, right there. Who is that? Gunflorkian 62? Oh, 69. Gumflorkian 69. Wow, that's a weird name. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Well, I'm I'm kind of regretting that I asked you who he was. Okay. Uh, yeah, man. Okay. Well, I'll put you back. I guess I brought back some bad memories. He knows who that is. Anyway, moving on. Check the old... <laughs> What's that, a Packard Bell? Right, farmers know. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. I know all about the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. 
Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. How do they have voices, though? These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with a bright light in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then, people start to have nosebleeds and severe headaches and a buzz in their ears. It's probably just an air scrubber. You just want to unplug that. And the animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapse. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of the field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the mark on the body, incisions to be exact. Oh, God. During palpitation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Okay, bro. All right. Well, don't you dare do that to me. Stop right now what you're doing. Whatever. Let's go. Don't do it to me. Don't you dare do it to me. Okay. So. Is there anything else we need to look at? No. Let's move on. I heard a noise. And it was not a friendly one. Going downstairs. Yeah, Simtron seems to be traumatized. Simtron is not a full gray. He is mixed. Just putting that out there. Inspect the house. Okay, did I complete that task? What? Oh, okay, the grays are racist, apparently. They hate us. <laughs> I wonder what's behind that door. Okay, we're gonna inspect some more upstairs. Let's double check everything. I heard something in here. Okay. Let's see, is there anything we can open? No. Maybe let, maybe the computer turns on or or we can access the computer. I don't know. Doesn't look like we can. Somebody was drinking it. Dr. Pepper. Do we have a flashlight? Come on, man. This person came unprepared. Okay, what do we got in here? Nothing. That won't open. Alright, there's probably a gray inside there. Ah, okay, here we go. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? It's, uh, it's from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was defended by a, uh, yeah, deafened. I said defended. Deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skins and big eyes. Skins. <laughs> uh, I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they only communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on their pier later in the evening. I barely made it home. My head was buzzing, and I am walking home as if in delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Hmm... This is a great material. This is great material for the newspaper. Okay, so the ambient music stopped. That is not a good sign. Get the stupid Invisaligns out of my mouth. Now I can speak. Okay. Okay, 
I don't I don't want to move, but I shouldn't have moved. Oh. My God! Got my flashlight. They have landed. And it will not let me look out the windows. Oh my God. Stop. Please stop now. I'm hiding. I'm getting in the closet. No, thank you, bro. No. 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 It's in here with me. It is in here. I hear it moving. Okay, we're gonna wait in here for a while. It keeps moving. This is the most terrifying thing I've done in a long time. I feel a lot of anxiety right now. All right, we're gonna get out of here. It is so loud in my headphones, bro. I just heard the door open. Okay, now this door is open. This door was not open before. My phone just vibrated in my pocket. I think I shit myself. This is uh this is way worse than signs, bro. What do we have here? Okay, dead animals. Cool, dead fish. And yeah. It ate the cow. Sounds like something's breathing in my neck. Farmer's note, a child headache began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the doctor a dozen of a dozen of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Oh god. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple abduction. The only uh, the, I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ears were a trace of them. I'm sure they implanted something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant because of this i forgot everything i definitely decided that i would get it i am not crazy 
Please don't fuck with me. Please don't fuck with me. Oh, that's the implant. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out the alien implant. Maybe take it. Do not fuck with dude, the ambience in this game is unlike anything I have ever witnessed of any video game. Is there any aliens raiding the fridge? They ate my fucking pizza. Those bastards. Oh my god! Fuck this game! No! 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 Oh, fuck. Fuck this game. I can't do this shit. I can't. Holy shit, dude. Whoa! Let's go out. Let's go outside where he was just at. That's what I want to do. Okay, it went away. The sounds went away. That's a terrible scarecrow. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, fuck, I don't want to go out in the cornfields, dude. I got to get back to my car. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I've got the implant, though. Don't do it. Right mouse button to focus. Oh my God. Okay, we're going home. We're going home. That is. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I hate this game, bro. What am I doing here? Run. Run, 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 run. Okay, start it. Hey, bro. Yeah, there you go. Bro, how tall are you? was insane. In the full game, you will find the large territory of Gravewood Farm and a full story of alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss out on a discounted release. Whoa. That was short. That was the best demo I ever played. That was... T that was beyond terrifying I don't know if it's just I'm in a certain mood today or let me know if you agree that was insane that was awesome in a bad way okay let's I'm definitely going to be adding that to my wish list not right now though oh my god so that about does it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to support the channel check me out on patreon we have a band gameplay series best series I've ever done for the $10 tiers and up you can watch the videos right off patreon and when I say completely unfiltered I mean completely unfiltered mad Vlad oh man it's hard to swallow right now man it's crazy follow me on Instagram I'm trying to get 30,000 followers check out the merch it's the best merch of anyone on YouTube I live stream on the weekend 
sometimes Friday, Saturday. It doesn't matter. I will let you know. I'll keep you updated. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Hi-ya!